Uh, welcome to everybody. Um, on behalf of myself, I'm Callum McRae and my uh, co-chair, colleague, and, and friend, Tony Rosenzweig. Uh, we're going to get straight into the science, and the uh, first presenter is uh, Dr. Elena Ayakawa. She's the director of the Heart Valve Translational Program uh, at Brigham and Women's, and she's going to tell us about uh, her work in cardiovascular uh, calcification. Good morning, everybody. And I would like to uh, say thank you to organizing committee members for inviting me for this exciting meeting. And today, um, I'm going to talk about the, how we actually establish a novel target discovery pipeline for calcific aortic valve disease at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. And the next 10 minutes, I will take you to the journey and um, is, uh, explain how we actually did it using holistic approach of, to understanding of heart, heart valve disease. And um, um, let's go. All right, but before I actually jump in, I, I would like to tell why we actually looking at this particular disease context. And I think it's very important because uh, we believe in our group that patients deserve to have medical treatment for calcific aortic valve disease. So what is calcific aortic valve disease? And what is aortic stenosis? So aortic stenosis due calcific aortic valve disease is the most prevalent valvular disorder and on the rise as population ages. It occurs in more than 25% of patients, actually um, individuals over 65 years uh, old. The prognosis of this disease is extremely poor and actually worse than in many patients with metastatic cancers. It leads to heart failure and death within two to three years of onset of symptoms if untreated. And it was predicted and shown very well by a paper which was published by Rose and Brownwald more than 30 years ago. Only in US alone, 80,000 patients progress to severe aortic stenosis and, lead, and need valve intervention for over, at the cost of over $20 billion. However, despite this large economical and uh, clinical burden, no medical, medical treatment available for calcific aortic valve disease. The only treatment options at this moment are invasive and costly open heart surgery and uh, transcatheter valve replacement, procedures which are not universally available and also um, uh, still have many uh, complications. Therefore, we strongly believe that research to identify new fingerprints of this disease and uh, find new targets for this disease are desperately needed. Calcifying extracellular vesicles akin to exosomes. They're, they're very small entities, approximately 100 to 300 nanometers. They're released from any cell in your body, including uh, cardiovascular cells, such as smooth muscle cells or macrophages or uh, valvular interstitial cells. Upon release from the cell, they, sorry, Upon release from the cells, they aggregate, aggregate, merge with each other, nucleate hydroxyapatite, and become microcalcifications, precursors of larger calcifications that eventually will impair the movement of the valve leaflet. And we published this observation in, recently in Nature Materials. However, microcalcification formation lies below the resolution of current clinical imaging modalities such as PET, CT, and MRI. Therefore, we developed methods to visualize microcalcification. We demonstrated that near infrared molecular imaging and high resolution microscopy combined with uh, nanocyte nanoparticle tracking analysis and um, a novel 3D bioprinting technology which can recapitulate native valve leaflet, can visualize and quantify this process and serving as 
very needed tool uh, to explore this process in vivo and in vitro. We also develop three-dimensional models which can demonstrate altered morphology of um, our microcalcifications and the actual reduction in size and uh, a reduction in, in, the, in the stresses around those microcalcifications, which can serve as a very useful tool to screen uh, our newly discovered um, uh, targets. So my major research goal is to identify new targets for calcific aortic valve disease. So this is a uh, um, this is a this is a <laughs> Oh, I forgot the word. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a concept of our program, which actually demonstrated what we do um, at the Brigham and Women's Hospital and the, the, the cardiovascular division. And uh, uh, we use a collaborative approach uh, of um, innovative clinical and basic research scientists who, who, who utilizes um, cutting edge technology available at the Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School to, dis, uh, to establish this um, uh, target discovery pipeline for calcific aortic valve disease. So we believe that this program will expedite translation of research findings to clinical practice by integrating clinical parameters obtained from the patients and, sorry, and the imaging with post-operative histology, um, proteomics, transcriptomics, single cell analysis, and multidimensional network analysis. In fact, we already started to work on that, and we uh, collected so far uh, 200 uh, samples from patients who underwent open heart surgery for rep valve replacement. And what we do in the lab is actually dissecting those samples into portions which represent stages of the disease, such as calcification, fibrosis, and normal parts. We also dissect the layers uh, of indi individual micro layers of the valves uh, because we believe that each layer contributes differentially to uh, disease progression. We do histopathology, we isolate the cells, and then all these materials undergo uh, proteomics and transcriptomics and single cell analysis. And in fact, we already identified very important targets which uh, could, uh, could associate with calcific aortic valve disease using uh, network analysis. So importantly, our outcomes would be not only targets, but also new mechanisms, particularly mechanisms involved in early stages of the disease, which allow early treatment and personalized treatment of, of patients. Moreover, uh, our research will lead to patent patentable products such as diagnostic um, databases, cell lines, laboratory imaging and therapeutic probes, as well as biomarkers and also targets for drug eluting devices and uh, which targets which could be used to create uh, transgenic and knockout mice. And as an example, I'd just like to present one of our most promising targets, so-called sortilin. This, uh, we believe that it's not only promising anti-calcification uh, uh, drug, potential drug, but also mechanistically informative and diagnostically useful biomarker for cardiovascular calcification. Um, it's already underwent uh, in in vitro validation, and we now uh, perform an in vivo validation in sortilin knockout mice, which we actually developed in our lab. And as you can see here, that sortilin knockout mice have better outcomes of this disease in our model of calcific aortic valve um, disease and aortic stenosis, and they have less calcification. And more importantly, we actually demonstrated that sortilin uh, or serum sortilin associates with cardio uh, with, with aortic valve and cardiovascular, with aortic, sorry, with aortic calcification and cardiovascular risk in patients. So this is my last slide, and, and you know now we are doing high throughput screening of um, to identify new new inhibitors for targets which we uh, discovered in our lab, and I would like to invite you to the journey and uh, try to work with us and actually. Um, I didn't uh, develop new, uh, new drugs to targets which we have identified recently. 
And this would be very exciting, um, and this is a future and to treat patients, particularly younger patients, uh, to, to prevent calcific aortic valve disease in that population. Thank you very much for your attention.